Hi, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to be reacting to Ice Cream by Blackpink and Selena Gomez. I also, I might add my reaction to Sour Candy because I still haven't heard that because I was trying, like I was planning on reacting to it, but then only reacting to audio felt kind of weird. So uh, I think I might just combine it with this because it's both collaborations with great western artists and it's both about a sort of candy so i feel like it fits very well but i don't know if the songs are similar or anything yeah well here we are i don't know i don't have much to say i don't know what to expect i saw the concept i mean the poster i guess and the only thing that i noticed is that selena gomez was like her pictures were not taken at the same place as blackpink's pictures so i'm interested to see in the video if they ever interact or if everything is separate covid19 is still a thing so if they weren't together i mean obviously there is a good reason for it but i'm just interested to see if that's the case if you haven't seen my last blackpink reaction i don't stand blackpink so i don't have an official bias but my favorite member is jizu and I really like all the other members as well though. I also like Selena Gomez. I don't really know much about her as a person. Like I've, I don't really watch movies with her in it or so I really don't know her, but I like her music. So that's good. Yes, that's all I have to say. So let's watch Ice Cream. The subtitles are on, but I probably won't be able to read them. So I'll just look up the lyrics afterwards. Let's go. Come a little closer, cause you look at thirsty. I'ma make it better, slip it like a slurpee. Snow cone chili, get it free like Billy. In the jeans like Billy, you'll be popping like a Billy. Oh my god, cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. She fits really well, like the voices fit so well together. Huh. Wow. I'm not really talking. This is just a lot of fun. This is very catchy. She's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that was it. <laughs> okay. 
First of all, that was really unexpected. That was so much fun. I love, I love the song. It's so fun. I did read actually that Jisoo doesn't really have many lines in the song. Agreed. But it's also understandable because almost the entire song is in English. And I'm guessing that Jisoo doesn't speak English very well, which is, I mean, that's the only reason why I, that I can think of why she wouldn't have as many lines. Because if she does, then I don't understand why they chose this, but I'm just, assuming that she doesn't speak English fluently so this is a, it was an issue for her to like have a lot of lines in the song maybe but then again Lisa does rap in Korean too so I feel like they could have just added um, some Korean lines for Jisoo I don't know but either way I really really like the song it's a lot of fun I didn't really know what to expect because I couldn't really imagine Blackpink and Selena Gomez mixing so this was super unexpected but it's a lot of fun and I love it I do have to say though I don't know if if Selena Gomez fans watch this without knowing Blackpink but I would say I mean, obviously, I, I know both of them, so it's hard for me to get into that mindset. But I'm going to assume that if you don't know Blackpink and you watch this, you're going to fall in love with them. <sighs> I would have loved to see them interact, but I, I mean, I'm guessing that the reason was COVID-19. I don't know, but I'm guessing because I don't know how the regulations of flying are in South Korea and the US, but... I'm just gonna assume that that's the reason. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but still. I really like the video, it's super fun. It's, the colors are great, the styling is great, even though I, al I, I already noticed in the concept pictures or like in the, the poster thing, that I feel like, like if I had to put this in, into like a description, I would say Selena is the one that sells the candy and Blackpink are the candy, only based on the styling. Because she looks very like, she always looks professional. Not to say that the other girl, girls don't look professional, but the other girls look more playful and more sweet and colorful. Everyone looks amazing, but like, I feel like, like with the green hair and then Lisa, um, and then Jenny later with the, with the pink hair, I feel like they're the candy and Selena is like the candy seller. I didn't realize the chorus was playing until it was over because it, I feel, I don't, I don't know if I remember it correctly, but I feel like the chorus it has the exact same beat as the rest of the song. So it's interesting. That's really interesting. But still, the song is really fun. I feel like though, I don't know, I feel like they should have released this earlier. Like, I feel like this is a really good summer song, but it's September now. It still has like a hundred, almost 150 million views. So I don't think they need to improve anything, but I just feel like this would have been even more viral i guess if it was like in summer oh it was so i've never heard heard blackpink sing straight up english i don't know why this is such a weird thing that if people start speaking a language that you understand that you start really hearing their voice so i was super surprised with lisa but more so with jenny i really like her voice in like when she sings english Obviously, I know kind of how she sounds, but this part was just like... Like, she sounds like, I don't know, I didn't, I just, I don't know. This just came out of nowhere for me. I love this part. She sounds amazing. And then Rosé, again, is just killing, like, killing it with her voice. She sounds so good, but I love this. It's so much fun. The sets are amazing. The colors are so fun. It fits the song perfect, um, perfectly well. The colors are great. This is great. Like the beginning part is great because it like introduces the members, even if you don't, maybe if you don't know them. And it's like very like cartoonish, almost like playful, all the things like and it continues throughout the video, the playfulness. It's just so much fun to look at. Selena fits really well with these girls. Like she could join or like they could have more songs. I would love that. Jisoo deserved more lines, but again, if it's like the language barrier, then I understand it. I love the makeup too. And this is like such a, such a strong contrast to how you like that because this one, this video, obviously it's a collab, so it's just a different thing in, in itself, but this video is so much more like, it's very bright and fun, 
Whereas How You Like That was more like dark and cool badass in that direction. Especially the moment where they come out and the wings are behind them. Like they have black dresses and the, the wings are black, you know? And this is when it has like a lot of white and stuff. So it's like the exact opposite. It's really fun and it's really cool. And it's nice to see like their variety. I love Lisa's rap section. Chillin' like a villain, who? I know that, but where do I know? Where do I know that from? I love that she's still got her rap section. I'm so glad that she still got to show off her skills because, I don't know, Blackpink songs need this, like, you know, like the, the break it down part. They just need it. It's, it's a part of their, like, thing. I'm glad she had this. The lyrics are very, what's that called? Like a double meaning? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Get the bag with the cream, if you know what I mean. I mean, I know what you mean. You know, this section is so fun. Like this little, this shot is so fun. Look how fucking huge this ice cream cone is. Oh my God. Also, Selena looks amazing too. Like, let's not forget. Look, look how amazing, like, wow. Oh, wow. Hair, body, face, everything. Voice. I think like editing wise and like, there's no really like CGI or like any special editing that I can point out. Like the thing that stands out most obviously are the sets and the set decoration, all the detail in it. Ooh, cherry vanilla mint chocolate. They probably got assigned the flavors or something. So I would say maybe Lisa's mint because she has the green hair later and then cherry maybe Jenny because she has pink hair later. But then also Rosé also has kind of pinkish hair. But I feel like Rosé might be vanilla and then Jisoo is chocolate. Maybe I'm reading totally into this and that's never happened. Anyways, yeah, so the colors, like the color coordination, the set dressing, makeup and styling are all amazing. But editing wise, there's not nothing like it's just straight up cuts and there's no CGI as far as I can tell. Like maybe like green screen in the back here or something, but no like really important stuff that stands out, I think. Like everything's really practical, which I love. It's just so impressive like when when you see, like, this is clearly a real set. Like, this is clearly, like, someone built this. And it's just like, oh, that's just so cool. Like, can you imagine just walking on that set and you see this? It's just so cool. Oh my God, I love, I just love that. It's really impressive. And yeah, so the video, I really, really like it, but there's not too much that I can say about it from the things that I usually talk about. Like, see here, I feel like, oh, then maybe she's cherry. Because then this is chocolate, cherry, vanilla, and mint, just based on the hair colors. Funnily enough, chocolate is my favorite ice cream flavor. So, Jizu, I mean, it's meant to be. I'm just gonna listen to Sour Candy now as well, because why not, honestly? Should I, listen, should I watch a Sour Candy lyric video? Ooh, that's intense. Let's watch a lyric video so you also have something to look at. Oh, it's pretty short, the song. That's sad. Well, I'm not gonna put subtitles because this lyrics are literally in the video okay i'm excited i still haven't heard this i love lady gaga so i listen to every song on the album except for this one okay let's listen to sour candy oh this already sounds so much like lady gaga Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I didn't realize that the translation was going to be down here always. I was looking here. Okay. I'll just I'll just have to listen to Rosé again. Of course, I'll say wow. I'm hot on the outside, but if you give me time, then I could make time for your love. I'm hot on 
her voice is so different from Blackpink's. Oh, the song is great. What's me? Close your eyes, don't peek. Now I'm undressing. Unwrap sour candy. Come, come, unwrap me. Come, come, unwrap me. Come on, sour candy. I'm hot on the outside, but if you give me time, then I could make time for your love. I'm hot on the outside, but if you see inside, inside, inside. I wasn't watching the video actually, just the lyrics. I just realized that the, those figures are like representing them. First of all, the song is great. I like the song a lot, but it definitely is a Lady Gaga song. Like Blackpink isn't really featured a lot, whereas Selena was featured more i feel like in their song but the song is really good well that was my reaction to ice cream and sour candy i like both songs um i feel like ice cream is definitely more black pink it could also very well be selena whereas sour candy is straight up lady gaga i feel like i don't know who this speaks for but i feel like the black pink and selena collab was more of a collaboration than Lady Gaga's because I feel, I feel Lady Gaga I feel like didn't write this with Blackpink in mind where I feel like Ice Cream was written with Selena in mind if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense that's how I how I'm hearing it like the difference between the two songs I like both songs a lot I wish Sour Candy had a v music video <sighs> we can only dream and hope but yes thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it bye.